Hello, this is Ichi Baby, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor! Let's head on back to Fushui Castle, and then head back to the east to the Blacksmith to pick up our new equipment with the iron ore that we delivered recently. And run into some easier enemies around here, I suppose. Why not? I also, I also want to buy a bunch more power pills coming up here. Not that I'll need them in the very near future. I'm certainly not going to use them today. But we might as well, as long as we're in the area. I'd also like to get up to level 26 before I'm done with my business here. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that. Maybe run into some generals along the way. No, I don't need to sell stuff. I need to buy stuff. Let's see, I think Madai only used one power pill there because I had him using Jameon, but everyone else used two of them. So we might as well, yeah, get restocked on that for everyone. We will be needing them eventually. This is pretty much what I do for the remainder of the game as far as power pills are concerned. Just always have five of them in everyone's inventory except for whoever is using Chituma, which is usually going to be Zhao Yun. But he still needs two more anyway. Eventually I may want to buy some resurrect items, which is I think the only way you can actually revive someone who died. But for now, we don't quite need those just yet. Okay, how are we looking on everything? Okay, yeah, I think we're good. We don't need to rest up or anything. But I do need to fight more enemies from Chapter 6. Why not? One of the nice things about fighting generals in random battles more often is that they don't have the castle defense that they would have had during the actual boss fights with them. So it's a lot easier to take them down with just, well, not auto battle, but uh, going all out than, uh, what is it? Yeah, than during an uh, actual fight, but all right. Well, why would we need to forgive you? Right. Boye, Lulong, Qinglong, Qingguang, and Wan Shang. Oh, what about those guys? I thought we killed all of them. You let them steal them? All the swords? <laughs> Idiot! What did you do? Just leave them here when you came to the castle to let us know they were done? I, but yeah, I thought we killed all of the yellow scarves, but I, I guess not. So, well, that was a waste of time, and we'll never see them again. But I do want to see more enemies, so I can uh, finish off this level here. Uh-oh, looks like they got some tactics working on us. Not very effectively, but it's there. Hey, there we go. We got another level. So that should bring us up to level 26. Lots more soldiers and a new tactic, Gui Huan, which is basically the same thing as the one from level 25, except instead of uh, running from battle, well, you do do that, but you also warp to wherever your save point is or wherever uh, Liu Bei is is more accurately there. So I never really use it. It's really strange that they only use the one tactic from the previous level for one level and this one overwrites it always. They have the exact same intelligence requirements. Yeah, really weird. But I don't really use them very much. If I didn't make it back to Fushui Castle, then I, well, I actually would have used that because now what I have to do is save and uh, reload back to uh, Chengdu Castle to talk to Liu Bei because we needed to talk to the blacksmith in order to advance the plot. So yeah, even with the amount of experience that I'm getting here, it's still less than what I got or what I would have needed for level 23. 
So that's why I used the free level up earlier there. But all right, save, reload. We're back. We don't need to use another going. Oh, uh, yeah, so we did. Oh, good, good. Oh, okay. Well, looks like everything's finally starting to work out for us. I hope you've enjoyed Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor, viewers. Yeah, don't worry about those legendary swords or whatever the guy was crafting there for us. Looks like we don't need them. Oh, well, yeah, it is a pretty big country. Oh, okay. Well, good for you guys. Get a promotion. I think you mean ensure, not insure, but... No, I don't want the job. No! Yes. It's a but that must situation. I've tried canceling that like 60 times and nothing. So yeah, yeah, you have to do that. So yeah, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei are finally removed from the party and good riddance to them because we'll have better party members eventually. Oh, nuts. I'm sure he died of natural causes. Whoa! All of them? Or both of them? Nuts. Well, that should make it easy for us to conquer them then, wouldn't it? Oh. Yeah, maybe. Uh-oh. Nuts. Oh. Yeah, maybe. Nuts. Yeah, I remember them. Oh. Okay, so yeah, we gotta go back there. I think all these guys still say the same thing as before there. So, yeah, we're gonna have to go back to Changsha Castle and help the guys out. But now I need replacement party members for Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. So this is why I recruited Zhang Ren, because he's the next best guy that we can access at this point, and he has all the equipment from the four there. Hooray! So yeah, let's get those. Well, because he, Guan Yu left the party, it removed his equipment, so we gotta re-equip them. As opposed to, like, dropping them off at the headquarters and all that. And Zhang Fei didn't have any items on him, so he should be fine. I would like to add Matsu to the party, but, but only if you're already level 26, because if you're below that, both Masu and Zhuge Liang can learn the tactic at 26, and that would trigger the chest glitch. But now that we're at level 26, we don't need to worry about that, because the tactic at level 27 can only be learned by Masu, not Jugalion. Okay, so for my formation, oh, right. Yeah, let's get Zhang Ren at the top there, and then I want Jugalion at the bottom of the formation, because he can't learn the tactic at level 27. Okay, so we got all that. Yeah, yeah, I think we're good to go. Okay, so now that we're done here, Let's see. Okay, we need to get back to Changsha. Let's see. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, we'll go back there. It seems kind of strange that the whole reason for, yeah, having Guan Yu and Zhang Fei rule these castles is because the country's too big for just Liu Bei to use, but they gave them two castles that are right next to each other. How does it even work? I don't know. Uh-oh. Wait, which castle was that? Ling Ling. Okay, yeah, that's the one that was at the end of Chapter 5 there. So we're going to have to go back there eventually. Nuts. Oh, well, we can take them. How hard could they possibly be? Uh, 
Really, game? Let's, uh, yeah, hope that guy's not gonna block the way again this time. Okay. So now, hey, Guan Yu, how's it going there? Oh, yeah, maybe. How did they even get in here, anyway? I don't know. But, uh, okay. Oh, okay. You're probably intended to talk to Zhang Fei now, but I'm gonna wait a little bit on that. Hey, how's it going? You had a kid this whole time? Sure, why not? More party members with Guan Jing. Now, the thing is, though, is that just like Guan Yu, you cannot billet him at the headquarters there. But, because I have exactly seven party members in the traveling party there, the game has no choice but to send them to the headquarters, and I'm going to leave him there. I mean, he's okay. He's got pretty good stats, comparable to Guan Yu. But, in the long run, there are better party members, so I would just rather not use him right now and worry about that later. But can we defeat or defeat the invasion of Wu up to the northwest? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!